Chiropractors and, and uh, osteopaths called a bone a vertebra that's slightly out of position a, a subluxation because it's less than a dislocation. And as you can see there, that the way these bones articulate with each other, it's almost like a stack of teacups. So that one sits inside of the other, the other one sits inside of there. And so these parts here have to glide and slide. Now, if they become misaligned, you can see that there's not much lateral play there. There's a little bit of flexion play, a little bit of side bend rotation. But if it gets stuck in one position because the muscle has gone to spasm adaptively because you've injured that part, then that's called a subluxation. So classically, the chiropractor uses heavy manual thrusts to realign it. The osteopath uses longer levers to realign it. And what we're doing is addressing the tensegrity of the spine because through the, the teachings of Dr. Stephen Levin, the spine is a suspensory mechanism that hasn't been scientifically accepted yet. But when you're working with, with suspension tools, all you're doing is freeing off the restrictions to its suspension and also the energy channels. And I found that the fascia and the energy channels and the nerves all operate as one sequence and one technique frees all of those off. So ours is a much more gentle approach, which uh, frees off what we call the vasomotor response from a trapped nerve uh, in this area. And so it's very, very corrective and aligning, but very gentle approach. And so that's, that's what we're doing to address the spinal lesions themselves.